So we need to make a decision what we're going to do with the vacation this year. Um, there's two different places we both like to be, but they hold more importance to both of us, I mean, equally. And the fundraiser that's going on in Rhode Island uh, for ECC, the camp that you grew up in, and we want to spend some time up at our cottage right near the camp that I grew up in. Um, and we've got the time at the same, they're, they're overlapping time when we can get there. And so I guess, you know, we just need to figure out how, what can we do? Should we just change our vacation and just go to Rhode Island? Should we skip the fundraiser and just go to Michigan? Um, I guess that's what we have to deal with. That's mm -hmm. the, the issue. So where are we on that? What do you think? I, I'd really like to be up at the cottage. Uh, Uncle Ardy's going to be there. He's been sick. He sounds like he's doing better, and it would be nice to get with him. But I do understand how important the, the camp is to you, too, and that fundraiser, because if they don't raise some money, they may not be there next year. Right. So I feel really torn. Um, I also want to see Uncle Ardy. I've been anxious about him with all his health complications this year. It's been scary to get the emails, a little reassuring to get the updates. So I felt a pull to go there, so that I had originally said to you, yes, I won't go to the fundraiser, we'll go up north. And then I continued to get overtures from the camp to come, and messages from other people who've been camp, camp counselors with me saying, you're coming, aren't you? And then when my sister and her husband, they emailed me saying, you're coming, we can't wait to see you. I felt the tug there, and I really felt conflicted. I didn't know what to do. And you know I've been wrestling with it. Yeah, I do. And, and I, I want to be able to help you do that. It's just, part of it's just affordability. Right. What, what, is there a way we can do one or the other? If we go that way, we're gonna to have to pay a lot more in terms of hotels and things like that if we spend our vacation there than we will if we drive to Michigan. Right. So that's a, that's a big issue too. It is, and I can't be two places at once as much as I want to, so I've been trying to figure out, is there an alternative? I actually looked up some information online that I wanted to share with you and see if this is a possibility. And if, if, if it doesn't work, that's okay, but I at least want to talk out a possible option, Right. okay? Um, I looked up some information and the possibility would be for me to fly to Kathy and Mike's and to drive with them to the Camp Council reunion for the right. fundraiser and then fly to a spot in Michigan where I could meet you and then we could drive up to right, the cottage absolutely. together. So you, so Kathy and Mike are in Connecticut, what kind of time would you need, where, what would you need to be there? Would it change what we'd have to do for vacation? Um, you'd drive, you'd, so you'd drive up to Rhode Island from Connecticut with them, right? and then back to Connecticut and fly out to Detroit or to Flint. Right. What kind of, what kind of cost is it for the... It's, it's not bad at all. It's just over $300. Well, that's not bad at all. For so both? For, 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 getting... for the round trip. For the round trip. And so I could stay with them, wouldn't have to worry about hotel expenses in Rhode Island. We'd just have to be getting to their house and then and, so, and back. So if it's on Saturday night, if you flew in Friday night or Friday afternoon or sometime Friday, then you could drive up with them on Saturday. Would you be available to maybe Sunday evening to fly to Michigan? Yeah, so there's a flight. I could do that. So if you started driving from Atlanta right. on Friday? I could actually, if you're not going to be there until Sunday night, I could. it's only about 10 hours to Detroit, I could drive straight through and save, uh, and just get a hotel room and meet you if it was Sunday night. Meet you at the airport, stay in the hotel, and then drive the rest of the way up north because it'll be another Another six hours after that, the next day, to go up to the cottage. And is the extra money for the flight a problem? No, I don't think so. I was much more concerned about we'd have to have a hotel for all that time in different places we would go to see around New England, and that would and and, and rent a car and connecting um, flight and, and, and all that. Yeah. So I don't no, this is pretty reasonable, and we're not going to have that added expense. And and I don't mind. I've driven that route lots of times when my mother was sick when I drive up there. Um, it's not a bad drive at all, um, to, and then just meet you in Detroit. We'll have to figure out if it's Detroit or Flint, either way, but we can make that work depending on where the, the flight goes to. And we just have to budget in a meaningful donation oh, right. to the camp. That's right, you got to do that too, right? but that's so still... Right, so we got to factor that into the budget. Yeah, I don't, I don't, but even if, yeah, I don't think that's an issue where we've, 
we've been planning on doing that whether we win or not. Right. So, so this way you get to go and do all that, and and as much, as meaningful as that place is to me because of your connection and and the cabin named after your mother and all those things, it's obviously it's clearly much more meaningful to you. And this way we can we can probably do both pretty simply. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'm fine with that. And then okay I can you. still see Uncle R.D. and Aunt Sharon, right. which I really, really want to do. Right. And I want to have time with you up at our cottage because right. we should get up there. We own it, and we never get up there because we live so far away. I want to be up there. That's yeah. that's where we're at peace. That's a good place for us. I'm I'm good with that. That seems like a. Uh, I, I was very concerned. I was really. I felt so bad because you weren't going to be able to go. But I think this. This might work out. We can tomorrow. Let's start looking at the arrangements to see what we can do. Okay. Talk to Kathy and Mike, and should be okay. Okay. All right. Thank glad. you. I feel good. We can do both.